Hi, I'm Myra. Thanks for joining me for this one hour Pilates class. We're going to start standing today. So go ahead and stand and we're going to do a little Pilates V with our feet. So heels together and toes open comfortably. Then go ahead and place your hands on your low abs. And as we breathe today, we're going to expand our belly and we're going to do three breaths like that. So take a deep inhale, feel the belly open and exhale, feel the belly press into the spine. And inhale, belly opens. And exhale, belly tightening. And one more breath. So now that your belly is pressing into the spine, we're going to leave it there as we continue breathing through our rib cage. So hands still on the low belly, and now your low belly should stay still. As we inhale, the ribs expand. And exhale belly is still tight and strong. Inhale, your low belly staying still. And exhale, ribs closing together. And one more, inhale. And exhale. Good, continue breathing. And then take some concentration into your, those low abs and see if you can lift your belly even further away from your hands that are placed on it into your spine. And you should really feel those low abs connecting and turned on. Keep the breath moving through the rib cage. And again, see if you can press your belly in towards your spine away from your hands. So that connection with our low belly is what we wanna feel through basically our whole class. Let the arms relax down by your sides and inhale to elongate the spine. And exhale, chin drop through to your chest and we're gonna roll down over our feet. When you get as far as you can go, take a nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, belly pressing into the spine and we're slowly unrolling back to standing all the way till our ears are stacked over our shoulders. And then exhale to roll it back down again, pressing the belly button into the back. That sensation of your belly scooping in. Breathing in at the bottom. And exhale, scoop that belly in and roll it up. Inhale to find that long lengthened spine and exhale to roll it back down. Inhaling and exhale, scooping the belly and rolling up. Inhale, stack those ears all the way over the heels. And roll it down on the exhale. This time we're going to stay hanging over our legs. And then take your heels open. So now our feet are right under our hips. And then bending the right leg, walk your hands over to your bent right leg. And as you're breathing over there, making sure the shoulders aren't pressing up to the ears, trying to sustain a long neck and a long spine. And then coming through the center to bend the left leg and walking the body to the left. Now check that you're still breathing through the rib cage, ribs opening on your inhales and closing on your exhales. Coming to the center and feel that belly pressing into the spine. And then go ahead and walk it out to plank. Hands right under shoulders. And squeeze the glutes and engage those low abs again. Trying to press in between our shoulder blades, that upper back up towards the ceiling. One more breath. And then we're going to lift the hips to downward facing dog. 
and inhale to lift the heels and exhale to find some movement through the spine as we roll back to plank pose. Inhale, hips lift, exhale, heels lower. And continuing again, inhale, heels lift, exhale, roll through that spine. And inhale, hips lift, and exhale, heels lower. And heels lift on your inhale, and exhale, rolling through the spine. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through a relaxed mouth. Inhale, heels lift, and exhaling through the mouth from the back of the throat, lowering the knees to all fours. And find a strong spine, strong belly here, trying to flatten the back so it's nice and straight, not letting it arch or contract right in the center. And then tucking the toes and just lifting the knees a couple inches off the ground, and we're gonna hold it right there. Continue with your breath. Focusing on our breath helps to let us concentrate on something so that our mind doesn't wander. And lowering the knees, untucking the toes, and then arching the back. And then exhale to contract, curving the spine to the sky. And try to look all the way down at the belly button. Inhale to arch. When we're arching, we're not letting the belly hang out. We're still keeping it strong. And exhale, contract. And again, inhaling. And exhaling. Good, so we're gonna hold this curved spine, looking at our belly button, trying to keep the belly pressing in and tucking the toes, and again, hovering the knees and holding it there. Concentrating on your breath, or concentrating on your form, and then straightening the knees to downward dog. Inhale, heels lift. And exhale, rolling through the spine to plank. You might need to adjust those hands. And then bending the knees so the knees are hovering. And again, holding and breathing. Check in with those low abs. Are they still pressing in? One more breath, and then lifting the hips back up to downward dog. And taking one step of your foot forward for each leg, so we're shortening our downward dog far enough that you can reach your right hand all the way over to your left leg, grabbing the ankle, and then finding a gentle twist, giving a gentle pull on that leg and looking under the arm. Replacing the hand and moving to the other side. Go ahead and shorten that distance as much as you need to to be able to grab your ankle. One more breath. Okay, replacing the hand. And then walk the feet up to meet your hands at the top of your mat. Feet can be together or wide, and taking a couple breaths here. And go ahead and take a seat. And 
like your feet on the floor in front of your knees bent. You want to find a nice long spine, grab it in front of the knees. And exhale, curving the spine, looking down at the belly button and slowly rolling our way down to the mat. Lowering one inch of your spine at a time. And then we're going to stay down here and we're going to come into our hundreds. So when we're doing our hundreds, we're trying to keep our spine and our pelvis, our low abs stable and strong, trying to keep them from not moving. So for the most ease in this exercise, keep your feet flat on the floor or take them to tabletop to the sky or out at an angle or even lower, wherever you can keep the control of the low belly. So take an inhale, exhale, lift the head and chest, and then strongly move those arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Go ahead and rest the knees to the chest. Take a nice inhale breath. And then on your exhale, reaching your arms and legs away from each other to lay down on the mat. Inhale to flex the toes to the sky. And exhale to roll up with our straight legs. You can always bend those knees and come up with bent legs if that's better for you. Good. Reaching it forward. Spine pressing back, belly pressing back, inhaling, and then exhale, we roll our way back down, articulating through the spine, one vertebrae being placed at a time down to the mat. As we inhale, the arms above the ears, not letting the ribs open too much, and we exhale to roll it back. And reaching over the feet and rolling it back down. Inhale the arms above the ears, tighten up that belly and exhale to start your way back up. You can do a really long exhale here or take two more breaths in between and inhale as you reach over the feet and a long exhale to roll down or maybe take another inhale and another exhale as you lower. We'll do one more. Inhale, arms reaching above the ears. Exhale, tighten the belly strong and roll yourself up. Inhaling to reach and exhale to roll it back down. Good and resting it there. Planting the feet on the floor. And find that belly nice and strong, pressing the belly button into the spine, not tilting the pelvis too much or arching it. Finding a nice flat, flat pelvis. And then we'll go ahead and just lift one knee up and lower one knee down. And lift the other knee up and lower it down. So before we continue, could you flatten out that pelvis? Pretend that there's a teacup placed right there with some hot tea in it and you don't want to let it wobble and fall over as we lift our knees. So stabilizing that low belly and inhale to lift the knee and exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. 
and exhale lower. Good, both knees lifting up and now coming into toe taps. So now we lower one leg, tapping the toe and exhale lift. Think about that teacup resting right there on the low belly. Don't let it fall off and exhale lift. Inhale lower and exhale lift. Inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. Good, moving on to both legs glued together and double toe taps. So inhale, lowering the legs, and exhale to lift. Inhale, lowering, and exhale, lifting. Inhale, lowering. Try not to let the belly balloon up. And exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Good. Lowering down so just our tippy toes are on the ground. And then take your arms out to a T. Strengthen that belly. And just rocking the knees to one side. That top hip can roll up off the mat. And then engage those abs to lift the knees back to the sky. And inhale to lower to the other side. And exhale, engage the abs to lift the knees. Inhale to your first side. And exhale to lift. Inhale, lowering. And exhale, lifting. Good, keeping those heels lifted off the floor, go ahead and reach your arms to the sky. So now we'll see how strong we are without the stabilization of our arms out to the side. So knees lowering to one side, and then exhale to lift. Inhale to lower, and exhale to lift. Inhale to the side, and exhale to the center. One more, inhale, and Good, lengthening everything out on an inhale. And exhale, arms floating to the ceiling and slowly rolling it up. Reaching it out over the feet. And then unrolling the spine and stacking our spine nice and tall. Inhaling here and coming into our spinal stretch. So diving it forward, reaching the belly and the chest back. Feel that opposite position reach between the fingertips and the center of the body. Then inhale to stack the spine again. And exhale, spine stretch forward. Inhale, unrolling, nice flat back. And exhale, reach. Inhale, unroll. And exhale, reach. Good, hold it right there. Maybe lowering the hands to the mat. And inhaling. And then exhale, rolling it back all the way down to lay down. Good, and then taking our legs up to the ceiling. Legs are as straight as they can be, or you can always bend them slightly or even more and repeat what we just did. So hands are down by our side, and again, imagine that teacup resting there on your low belly, keeping it as still as we can as we lower one leg down to hover above the floor, and then we exhale to lift it back up. Inhale to lower the other leg, and exhale to lift. Inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. Inhale, lowering, and exhale, lifting. One more, inhale, no movement in the belly is your goal, and exhale to lift. 
Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Good. Moving on to both legs. You can tuck your hands under your hips if you need a little more help. Keep them there or rest them behind your head. Lowering the legs for four, three, two, one, and lifting. Three, two, one, and lowering. Two, three, four, and lifting. Two, three, four, one more down. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Bending the knees back to tabletop and reaching the arms out to a T. Find the belly nice and strong before you start and dropping the knees towards one side like we did before with our toes resting on the floor. And then exhale to roll it back up. Inhale, lower into the other side. Exhale, engage the abs to lift the legs. Inhale to lower. And exhale to lift. And inhale, lowering. And exhale, lift. Good, keeping the leg to the center and go ahead and take the arms to the sky. Testing our strength again without our arms stabilizing us. Inhale, lowering. And exhale, lifting. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. My legs are going not nearly as far to the side. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Stretching it out. Full body stretch. Flexing the feet on your inhale. And we exhale to roll it up. into your spinal stretch and you're letting the hands lower and unroll the spine to a flat back and then gather the knees into the chest to balance on our sits bones we'll take the knees wide and the big toes together then grab behind the thighs and find that C curve shape in the body Go ahead and try to straighten out one leg and bend it back in and straighten out the other leg and bend it back in and again straightening and down once more straighten And now we're going to come into rolling like a ball. You can stay in this position or close the knees and tighten your ball up as tight as you can. And remember, for rolling like a ball, our neck and our head never touch the ground. We're keeping this shape in our body and we're trying not to kick our legs to come up. So tighten the belly, take an inhale and exhale, preparing. And our inhale rolls us back. And our exhale rolls us forward. And again, inhale. And exhale, look down at the belly button. Inhale. And exhale. If you keep that focus down at the belly button, exhale. Then your neck should not come anywhere near the floor. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Good, grabbing behind the thighs again and slowly lowering yourself to the mat. Taking our legs long to the sky and coming into a half corkscrew. So we're gonna lower our legs towards one side and then circling them forward till they're in line with our body and then lifting up through the center and lowering them out to the other side and circle forward and up through the center and again inhale to lower exhale circle forward and up through the center 
And then inhale to lower. Sorry, I didn't mention, we're gonna keep both hips glued to the mat this time. And towards the center. And lift. Taking the arms to the sky again, testing our abdominal strength here. Lowering the legs to one side, towards the center, and lift. How stable can we be without the help of our arms? Lowering towards the center, and lift. One more each side. Side, and center, and lift. And lower and circle and lift. Good knees into your chest. And then we're going to go ahead and slowly roll it back up to balancing on our sits bones. So grabbing behind the thighs, knees can be wider together. And then there we are. Good. Uh, big toes together again and knees wide apart and this time going to strengthen uh, to lengthen both legs at the same time sorry stretching the legs up and then bending them together big toes touching we're still in that c curve shaping our body as we extend our legs and we bend and extend and hold it there. So keep grabbing behind the thighs, or if you feel ready for a little more challenge, take the hands up to grab behind the ankles or calves even. And transitioning between the C curve shape, and now we lift our chest and try to flatten out our spine. And exhale, curve. And inhale, lengthen and lift the chest. And exhale. And inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and then bring the legs together and rolling back to our backs just with control. Maybe use those legs for some leverage, nice and slow. Good, legs are to the sky. And now coming into our full corkscrew. Again, our hips are just gonna stay glued to the floor, hands down by your sides or out at a bit of an angle. So lowering the legs to one side, both hips stay down and then circling them all the way to the other side and lifting to center. Moving to the other direction, lowering down, keeping the low belly connected and lifting to center. Press that belly down and try to keep it from moving as you lower your legs to one side, circling through center and to the top and lowering towards the other side. Circle, lift and up. Once more to each side. Side, circle, lift and center, and side, circle, and lift, center, and lowering it down. Take a nice big stretch, and go ahead and roll onto your stomach. Go ahead and rest your forehead in your stacked hands, elbows wide. Lengthen out the spine and then press that belly in. Pretend someone slid their cold hand under your belly and you're trying to keep from touching it. So legs can be mat width apart. And we're just gonna lift one leg up off the mat, nice and slow. So lifting one leg and lowering one leg. And lifting the other and lowering. So making sure our legs stay straight as we lift and lower and lift and lower is your belly still strong trying to lift off the mat and lower 
lift and lower once more lift and down up and down good and now we're going to take our hands under our shoulders forehead resting to the ground and we're going to keep our legs still as we peel off our upper body including our hands so inhale to peel up let the hands float by your shoulders and roll it down. And inhale, rolling up. And exhale, roll it down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And we're going to hold it there. Now we're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together towards each other. Squeeze and relax. And squeeze and relax. Just a small movement. Squeeze and relax. Tighten that belly. Squeeze and relax and lower down. Good, and then take the legs together and you can lift through plank or just up through your knees. We're going to rest in child's pose. Stretching out that spine for a couple breaths. So pressing our belly in, continuing with our breathing in through the nose and out through a relaxed mouth. Just take one more breath. And then make your way back into a seated position. With our legs stretched in front of us, about back width, we're going to come into saw. So feet are flexed, legs are strong and straight, arms reaching out to the side. Inhale to twist to one side, and then exhale to reach it forward, opening the chest. Inhale, twisting to the other side. And exhale, open. Inhale, twist. And exhale, reach. Inhale, tighten that belly. And exhale. Good. And continuing, inhale. But this time we bend it forward, curving the spine and looking towards that front hand. Inhale to twist. When you twist, stack those ears right over the hips. And exhale, bend, squeezing that belly in. Inhale to twist. And exhale to reach. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Coming up to center, bringing our hands in front of us in line with the shoulders, breathing in. Exhale, C curve shape in that lower back and rolling it down. And then planting the feet on the floor, we're going to come into some bridges. So make sure your feet aren't too far away from your hips or too close. Comfortable position. Engage that belly. And we're going to keep our back stable and straight as we lift our hips. So no articulation through the spine. So go ahead and exhale to lift the hips. And inhale to lower. And lift. And lower. Pretend someone's squeezing you around the waist as you lift, and then from the front and back. And lift. And lower. Good, we'll lift and we'll hold it right there. And then we're gonna squeeze the knees together and then open them in line with the hips and squeeze and open. When you squeeze, actively squeeze the knees together and open and squeeze and open together and apart and in and out maybe take one breath 
for movement or just continue with a long deep breath and one more and lower it down and then close the feet together so knees ankles feet are glued now we're going to find some articulation through the spine as we roll up and roll down so tilting the pelvis up towards the sky and slowly lifting the pelvis is the first thing tailbone low back mid back and then rolling it down one vertebrae down to the ground at a time until your tailbone is glued to the floor and then reverse it tilt that tailbone and roll it back and rolling it down and roll it up and roll it down keep those knees squeezing together like you're holding something between your knees and you don't want to let it drop and roll it down good and then we'll roll it up and we'll hold it there and knees opening and knees squeezing together. Open and squeeze. Open, squeeze, open and close. Four, three, check that the waist is still tight and strong. And one. Good, and then lower it down. And taking one leg up to the sky, straightening that leg as much as you can. You can always be bent and lifting the hips in one motion and finding again that flat back as we lift up and down and lift and lower, lift, and lower and lift and lower good lift and hold it up and then small circles with the leg one two three four and then stabilize the standing leg try to keep it from wiggling back and forth seven eight and reverse pretend the tip of your big toe is a pencil and you're drawing a small circle five, six, about as big as a CD, seven, eight, and lower. Leg down, switch to the other side, and starting with the lift of the hips and the lowering of the hips. Lifting up and down, lifting our spine in one piece up and down and lift and lower and then we'll lift and hold and circle for eight seven six five four three two one reverse one two three four just breathe comfortably for you six seven and eight good lower it down and relax that leg and taking our legs apart again and finding again that articulation through the spine as we tuck the pelvis roll it up and then roll it down glue the tailbone and then tuck the pelvis tailbone lifting up first and rolling it down. Two more. Rolling up one inch at a time, peeling off the mat. And rolling down. And up. And down. Good. Step those feet away from your hips. You just have an easy bend in the knees, reaching the arms up above the ears as we inhale. And we'll exhale to roll up with bent legs. 
and then straighten out the legs in front of us. Take them as wide as the mat or even a bit wider and just an easy spine stretch forward. So fingertips on the ground, curve the spine as your fingertips slide forward on your mat. and sliding the hands back towards you and finding a long spine. And then bringing the feet so they're about hip width and coming into our spinal twist. So arms out to the sides, we're gonna inhale and center. We twist to one side and we exhale, exhale, inhale to center. Exhale, exhale, inhale, tighten the belly. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale, and a long spine. Exhale, exhale, inhale, and a long neck. Shoulder blades are pressing away from the ears. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Last set. And down. And we're just going to come onto one side to get into a little bit of leg lick. So our bottom leg is going to be bent. You can rest your head all the way down on your shoulder or go ahead and prop your head up in your hand. So today we're going to be in a long line from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet. Press the belly in to start, engaging those abs and take your hand on your waist. Flex your foot and then lift your foot so it's in line with your hip. That's going to be our starting point. And then we just lift it higher and lower and lift and lower up and down and up and down. Good. And find some deep breathing here. Six, seven, and Good, in line with our hip, and then circle for eight, seven. If you want to put that hand down to help stabilize you, go ahead. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go to reverse that circle. One, two. Sometimes I find that if I place my hand on my belly, it reminds me to keep it engaged, seven and eight. Good, and then lowering that leg all the way down, and we're gonna come into our large leg lift. So lifting that leg up as high as it can go and lowering it down. But as we lift that leg, we wanna keep this hip right where it is. We don't wanna let it roll back at all. So stack those hips, maybe put a hand there to remind you to keep them right where they are. So your leg might be coming more forward in front of you than straight up to the sky. And up and down. Four more. Five, six, seven, and eight. We're gonna hold this one up. It's as high as it can be with your stacked hips, toes pointed, and small circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse. Eight, seven. Don't let that hip drop back. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Good, and then bringing it back up in line with our hip and flexing the foot and coming into our front kick. So we bring it forward, exhale, exhale, inhale. That was a nice crack in the hip. And exhale, exhale, inhale. And exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. We have four more. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Three, two, and one. Good, 
Good, then go ahead and we're done with that leg. We're gonna roll to our stomachs, placing the hands under your shoulders. Stretch out the spine. So inhale to lift the upper body. There's no weight on the hands. And exhale to roll down and then moving on to our legs. Both legs lifting up with straight knees and lowering it down. Inhale, upper body peels off the mat. No weight on the hands. You can lift them up if you want to. Roll them down and both legs lifting and lowering. And upper body, inhale and exhale and lifting the legs up and down. And then reaching our hands, well they can stay here, or reaching your arms into cactus arms. Just depends on the <laughs> flexibility and comfort of your back. We're going to be lengthening our arms out. So inhale to peel yourself up and don't use the weight of your arms or the assistance of your arms until you have to, to straighten out the arms. And then exhale to slowly roll it down. Your forehead's going to be the last thing that lowers. Remember again that person sliding their cold hand under your belly. Engage those abs and now lifting up. Straightening the arms and rolling it back down. And one more time. Rolling up. Good. Give those hips a little shake. You can just roll to your other side or go ahead and flip around. Coming in to work our other leg. So starting with the bottom leg bent, and we're in a nice straight line from head to toe. Lifting it in line with the hip and flexing the foot. And then we lift for eight. Check in with that belly and one. Again, in line with the hip and circle for eight, seven, six, five, four. Check that the back of your knee is straight. Two, I think I lost count, one, somewhere around there. And reverse. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Lower that leg down, pointing the foot and the toes, and our large leg lift with those stacked hips, lifting it up and down, and lift and lower. Three. And four. Five. Six. Seven. And this eighth one, we'll hold it up. Check in with those hips before we start. Our small circles. Eight. Seven. Six, don't let the belly hang out. Four, three, two, and one. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and bring it down. Good. Finishing with our front kicks here, so in line with the hip and flexed foot. And we bring it forward as we exhale, exhale, inhale, sweeping it back. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. 
five, six, seven, eight. Now lower it down and then roll into our stomach. This time we're going to take our arms out in front of us, nice and long and starting with alternating between our upper body lifting and our legs lifting. So starting with that upper body, lifting arms, chest, head up, and lowering it down. And moving on to the legs, lifting the legs, and lowering. And upper body lift. And lower, lower body lift, and lower. Now lifting our whole body up together in one piece, lifting, and lowering. A reminder to keep the knees straight, and inhale, lifting, and exhale, lowering. Two more. <clears throat> Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower, tighten that belly, last one, inhale, and exhale. Nice work. Go ahead and make your way to child's pose, however suits you. Giving that spine a nice stretch after that hard work. to a side plank on our knee. So opening that head and chest, reaching that hand behind our head, and then lifting that top leg and doing our front kicks again in this new position. So exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. And exhale, exhale, inhale. That's our last one. Go ahead, lower that down, and then reach that arm up to the sky. Now just lifting our fingers up off the mat and lowering it back down. Place that hand down. And peeling up and lowering down. And peel up and lower down. And peel up and lower down. Now coming into a full plank, you can always stay right here or step that bottom foot up. Now lifting our arm and above in line with our ear. And then we exhale to lower it down and also lower our hips. Inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. Inhaling and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Good. Roll into plank. Holding your plank or rest your knees down. I'm going to switch sides, but you can just lower that bottom knee and open to the other side into your side plank with the knee down, hand behind our head. And lifting that top leg and coming into our front kick. We go exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. And exhale, exhale, inhale. Good, lower that leg down, reach the top hand to the sky. Peeling our hand off and lowering it back down. And 
Peel it up. And lower down. And peel. And lower. One more up. And down. Stay in here or make your way to a full side plank. And then lifting the arm up in line with the ear and then lowering the hips as we lower our arm by our side. And lifting. And lowering. Trying to keep our hips stacked. And I always roll mine back. So a good reminder for myself. Lifting. And lowering. Good coming into plank. I'm going to hold it for a couple breaths. And lower the knees down. Good, let's give those arms a big circle and do a little shoulder stretch before we move on. So cross one arm across your body nice and straight. Give it a gentle pull with your other hand. And then take that same arm up high, bending it back so your palm is facing in towards your upper back. And then give it a gentle pull. And as we're working here, try not to really, try not to arch the back. Trying to keep our belly engaged still and our ribs from opening too much. Good, relax it down. We'll do one big arm circle. And then crossing your other arm over, giving it a gentle pull. Keep that breath going. And that same arm up to the sky, palm facing your upper back and a gentle pull again and then check that you're not arching too much it's pretty easy to arch right here one more breath and relax those arms down okay we're going to come into a reverse tabletop So hands can face any way that feels comfortable for you. I find that everybody has a different preference for this. And then go ahead and lift the hips, stacking those hands right underneath our shoulders, and then try to lift your hips as high as they can be. Taking one leg up to the sky, trying to hold those hips up as we make that small circle again for eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Other leg up and circle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down and lower the hips. Crisscross the legs and give those wrists a little roll. Good, and then taking the hands back. Again, this time coming into a reverse plank, you're just gonna lift and lower the hips. So hands on the shoulders and lifting the hips up and lowering the hips down. And lifting and lowering. And lift. And lower. Good. Go ahead and take those legs out to a straddle. It can be close together or wide, wherever feels good for you. Inhale to lift the arms. 
and exhale. Again, find that C curve shape in that body as you bend it forward. And then unroll the spine, arms out to a T and twist towards one leg. Release the hands down and slowly walk them forward. Keeping both hips glued to the floor. And rolling it back up, reach those arms out and a twist, hands down and walk it out. up with our Pilates push-ups. So making your way into a plank, we're going to go for three tricep push-ups. You can always do them on your knees or skip them all together and hold plank. Otherwise, come along with me as we inhale to lower and exhale to lift. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, downward dog. And walk it in three steps to the feet, if possible. And then exhale to scoop the belly in and slowly roll it up to standing. Inhale to lift the arms. Exhale, arms float down by our sides and we roll it down for another Pilates push-up. And walk it out, maybe three steps to plank. And go in for our three tricep push ups, inhaling and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Downward facing dog. And walking it in. And then exhale to scoop the belly in and roll it up. And inhale to lift the arms and exhale to open and we're all done. I hope you had a good class and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.